Okay, there's something that I noticed in the last runs I made, and I have done a lot of ru uh, runs in between, and due to me having unlocked the, the third boss for stage 2, I'm getting my ass kicked a bit more often than I would like to admit. So, to try out more things, I will go to normal. I know normal is, uh, is way easier than expert, and we can uh, revive a lot more, but this is just for us to find some ground, to find out some better stuff, and maybe to make the twins work. <laughs> So hello everyone, it's Catrice here and I welcome you to another episode of Chrono Arc. Today, we will be trying out the twins on normal. I'm quite looking forward to how that will work out. So far I've not been able to make the twins work in any capacity. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. So one of the key differences on normal is that I can uh, recharge this, uh, recharge Lucy's necklace, and also uh, I get less credits from bosses, and uh, cursed enemies do not exist. Those are like the key differences. Other than that, oh yeah, also the enemies have less, the bosses have less health at least. Oh yeah, every enemy has less health, okay. Immediately starts with Dark Spark. No likey. But we can just out heal that again. Nice. Now Dark Spark again. I have an attack for him in my bag. And that's that. Also, we don't have to identify identification scrolls. Which is also something that is quite nice. Alright, we got Flame Arrow. Which is one of my favorite skills. So, haha. Uh -huh. And we get prominence. Uh. You know what? That's pretty good. Okay, there's something here. A soul stone, that's nice. Gonna take here. So yeah, uh, I've played a lot of runs in between, like I'm now, I think I've I've broken the, the 50 run count, like in general, and I have been having a really hard time, on Expert at least, so I want to use this chance to try out more stuff and get a grasp on more things, because apparently the way I play the game so far does not quite work out anymore. Okay, Lunar Ring I know is okay, but... Healing Stars is good. This is good together with, uh, with Flame Arrow, so I'll take this. Starbreeze is okay. Both of these cannot be fixed, but that's fine. And shot a ring, nice. Oh yeah, we can also get a draw card. Uh this is Oh, I get both. Hmm. Well, this, this is uh, Selena's skill and this is Helia's draw skill. This is great if I get the right, uh, if I get the right rare skill for Helia. So I'm gonna try that. Alright, is there anything we still miss? No. Let's go. We fight the dog, and as you can see, the dog does not have 10, uh, has not, has not, uh, ah. Does not have 100 health. He's 88. It's great. Okay, we start with Celestial Alignment, I think. No, wait. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Um, so we stack Flame Arrow and Prominence. I don't know if this was the right order. It wasn't all. But 
We can do this. This deals 11 damage. And we can just do this. Also, there's no cooldown for the uh, for a fixed skill. So I can use them every turn. Yeah, yeah, just roll. Now I can flame arrow. We have basic attack. And that's pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of damage here, but all in all, we are pretty dandy. We're gonna take a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> will be increased by two but it will cast twice eh. yeah this is very bad but <clears throat> that's okay we are normal so I think we will be having an easier time to get back to business limestone scepter is great and uh, actually everything here is great now just eat bread here Alright. <coughs> now we get four tanks. I think this is every tank in the game. No wait, Narhan is also classified as a tank. Leon is my favorite character in the game. It's our tail Leon. Alright. Give me something good. This is the best thing I can take here. Which means that this draw skill is ass, but that's fair. That is absolutely fair. I wanna uh, increase her stuff so I can maybe get a good skill, repost, and uh, prep. There's prep. So we're, d <laughs> we're back on Leon. Ah, oh, this all happens so often, I I'm not even mad anymore. Okay, we got an ID scroll, we can look at this. This is the mana potion. Eh. 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 What's this? Smite? It is a countdown skill, so it works as a counter. Which is interesting for all the common skills, like the common attack skills. Uh, most of them are pretty okay on one certain character. Like, uh, Hein has a, draw, uh, a common skill that is really good in Fury Attack, which uh, hits multiple times. And with his passive, that will apply even more often. But yeah. Alright. We already start with Fire Wave, so... Funny. Counter him. And we smite. Damn it. Oh yeah, we are. We have healing gauge protection. Good. Now we don't. And why is she so fast? Uh, okay. Uh, there's nothing I want to cast twice for for Ivana. So my biggest problem right now is my health is very really bad. Actually, just kill it. Yeah. I don't want to eat an yet another... Uh, I don't want to eat yet another fire wave. It's sort of one of the strongest early game skills after all. So now I can increase our max mana, which is great. But the biggest problem still is that... Well... <clears throat> We're pretty low on health, and the enemies don't stop uh, AOEing us. 
Okay, we can cast this two, three times now, but it doesn't matter as long as we don't have the right... I could have done something smart here. But I didn't. Okay. Uh... Repost... Retribution, flame arrow. This is not looking good at all. We can use bread to heal both Palia and Selena at the same time, which is good, but other than that, this is looking very grim. Well, skill book, two keys, sounds good. Uh, Toxic Arrow, Reckless Charge, both of these are good. Let's see what we get. Uh, we can also get rare skill from this one, so. Solar Bolt is incredibly important, so let's take Solar Bolt. Okay, there's a boss, which we I, I don't think I can... God damn it. I don't think I can hit the portraits. <clears throat> Alright. They all move before us, which is very bad for, uh, for Leon. But alas... So this situation, what I can do is uh, prominence, solar bolt, and flame arrow. I can redraw, use the flame arrow, target prominence, and it would just hit four more times, which is one of the combos that uh, Hylia has. Oh yeah, and our accuracy isn't maxed anymore. Uh, isn't capped anymore, I mean. We can now have more than 98 accuracy. Mm, you can put this on Leon. Okay. Hmm. Another key, nice. More money and a bread, also nice. This is oh, a teamwork is okay here. A possibility is one of my favorite skills, mainly because it it has the possibility to add any skill to my hand, which is pretty valuable. Anyway, uh, so our biggest problem right now is we enter this fight, which we don't know which it is yet, with a with very low health robber. I will be leveling up twice here. Oh, no, just once and get another draw card. Uh, I want to level up Selena. Hmm. I'll take power off a full moon, but mainly because it's chain heal and it, it may be one cost if it's on the bottom of my hand. So this might be good. Also, it's a free cost, which means that Solar Bolt has another target. If uh, Flame Arrow has another target, if I don't get to stack Solar Bolt, that's what I wanted to say. Let us see what to do. It is the golem. So the golem also has a change on uh, on normal. Oh great, dark silver. That's something we don't need. He only targets two cards here. Hmm, star breeze. 
very bad. We did not get a draw skill. Alright, power of a moon we, we can create here, which is okay. Or we could uh, do this. You'll always use Earthquake in this situation. Accelerate is good to get from that one specifically. Like accelerate on its own is not good, but if you, if we can decide when to use accelerate, it's pretty decent. Right, flame arrow. Now we can use flame arrow here if we want to, and I do. Ouch. Alright, Charlotte Ring gives us 5 mana, which is great. Huh, oh, Celestial Alignment. Not like I already wanted to use this. Uh, because I cannot stack... This should be... Oh, it doesn't matter much. As long as I use Flame Arrow last, it doesn't matter. Alright, now I can redraw this. Flame Arrow. With Powerful Moon. Drops, we can get strawberries, which is good. All right. Ouch. That's why Solo Flame is nice with uh, with a party that can use buffs, which is also the reason why I use Leon. Cause uh yeah. This guy just gets burned every time we have play a buff. And he should be dead. What? Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's why Halia and Leon work well together, at least with the Solar Flame build. Anyway, uh, we actually beat 2-2. I mean, fair enough, it was on normal. Solar Storm, I think, was the skill? Yep! That is the rare skill I was talking about. Solar Storm is the one rare skill I was talking about. It's basically a free cost flame arrow. But it applies to all. Uh, it it costs free, but applies to all the skills we view. So this is a lot of damage. This is the rare skill I wanted. Let's see if I do, if it does anything good for us. The type power increased potency we put on Leon because well Leon will still do most of our damage. But honestly, everything I need is another healer because damage wise we're set for life. All right, let's move to the next stage. Here we could uh, also recharge our necklace now, which is great. And we can learn more class skills. Combustion is great for applying Solar Flame. And I think we go should uh, go ahead for Solar Flame build now. Mainly because we have Leon, so we have a lot of buffs going around. All right. Don't have a relic though, which is kind of sad, but... I have another Vitality Scroll later. Okay, on Leon. She does more crit damage with that. She has, uh, she has Repost Air Retribution. Which are both, uh, confirmed crits. Uh, yeah. 
Let's see what 2 1 brings us. First of all, we want to establish our goals again. First off, I want to increase my max mana by one more. Then I want to level Hellion Lee into free. Could have been a bit of a day to, uh, to put our mana higher than, I think, 5. Even 5 or 6 it was. We would need to... Oh, this is better on Lee. In that case, we increase your evade and your armor. Uh, because... I forgot where, where my train of thought went, so I cannot a end that question, or that statement. My head's just completely empty right now. <laughs> Alright, I want to enchant the Enchanter Ring. I didn't even lose speed. Why is everyone so f everything so fucking fast when I don't even lose speed? It's weird. Enchant this. Oh, that's good to know. That is very good to know. So we can enchant skill books to create scrolls. Didn't know that. I don't have a, another key. I do have an ID scroll now. Uh. I usually use my ID scrolls on, on stuff immediately, because there's so much to identify. Oh no, let, let us do the regular battle first. So now with Celestial Alignment and Solar, uh, and Solar Storm, we are very much set. I mean, I can actually show you the combo. So what you do is you take your two highest cost skills, which in my case... Oh, we already have Power of Form in hand. We take these, and then we take Solar Storm. So Solar Storm is at the top. Then we can redraw. We draw a Solar Storm. And... This happens. <laughs> that's basically... That's basically how this combo works. Right, it dies, then it dies. Now we have Solar Bolt in our hand and Power Before Moon too. I think where were there were cards that would um, amplify our damage. Not sure about. Right, protection wore off, so we redo it. Or, or I think there are skills that would, so to speak, change our costs. No, no, not change. Our Nico, think. Uh, there are skills that allow us to manipulate our hand order. That is what I wanted to say. My brain currently is not working at all. <laughs> But it'll be a while because I'm planning to uh I'm planning to record some more ruin in a second after this one. But hey, that's fine, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, as you can see, normal mode is incredibly more easy than the others. Let's see what possibility is bringing us. Uh reorganize is a great skill to keep. We just have a turn here. Ouch. So the bad thing is a third attack already doesn't have a healing gauge protection anymore. Which sucks. Okay, we can reorganize here.
All right. Um. Okay, we draw two, so that's fair. The mage has to die first. Okay. Looking good, it's looking good. Uh, we can level up both Helia and our girl, Leon. I mean, but it's not swiftness. Uh, I want to add combustion, I think. Can we fix combustion? No. Barely any skill can be fixed here, which is really sad, but it's my life. Uh, yeah, we should give Salon more skills soon. And you get a level up. Uh. Stunning Smite is a good skill for you to get. And next on the next on my bucket list would be getting. Ooh. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Next on our bucket list is another draw skill. Uh, healing stars. We need more healing. The biggest uh, weakness of Selena is that her healing is actually subpar, in my opinion. Pressel and uh... do I do I risk it? Yeah, good risk. We get six. Uh, we get six more hits. Okay, who you hit? <laughs> Every start of a turn we get with Perry Bob, which are which also triggers Solar Flame. Dies for solar flame. She dodges, but that's okay. We get a free cost possibilities now. I want to see how, uh, how it does. Uh, overclock on. Hmm. Dark Sloyd. But this should be end of a, uh, end of a duel. Yeah, especially if we get solar bolt. Ember's always ends too, like, they always do the five skills, so we got to heal as well. Alright, there's this box here. Do I have an ID scroll before I do this? No. Uh, I don't want this. Okay. I don't want a tablet. Healing Fountain is a good skill. I give it to, uh, well, who would I give it to, right? Uh, I think I'll leave it at this. Anything I missed? What is this? Ah, uh, it's the enchantment station. I don't have a key, so I can't go in here. Burst Circus Maze. Contrary to popular belief, I do not want to find out what that is right now because I don't have an ID scroll. 
However, I can just identify it here. It is not cursed. This would be very risky to put it on Halia. So I won't. So I'll just give her some bread. Play Vitality Scroll. And hope we don't die. Let's go. It's Joker! We got possibilities, so I can use effective plants. Hmm. <laughs> you can use healing pain. All right. A lot of damage. Okay. Okay. We can just do this. Yeah, he just dies. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Play playing with solar uh playing with solar flare in this context is actually pretty busted. I didn't expect that at all. Okay. Increase healing amount by 30% per skill in hand at the end of each turn. Don't know what that means, but it's a, but it is an item, but and it is pretty good. So I just throw it on her and I'll bet I don't misunderstood it. Alright, but first of all, more stuff. And now I really hope for a healer. Because apparently our damage is pretty good. We need a healer. So press a lot Joey or Huzz would be great. I take Huzz here. Uh, Presley is great, but uh, Huzz always has the added benefit of just adding debuffs, which can be pretty decent for us. Because they... Uh, <laughs> what they do is they help us get more healing gauge, which is, a pr which is pretty good. So I want Huzz. Also Huzz is hot. All right, it starts with, ooh, these are both good. I don't have Relentless Swipe though, so I'm taking this. Uh, domination is good. This Might Sting is pretty good. Cause it, oh, This Might Sting is really good for hell yeah. Ooh. Cut streak is pretty okay, but domination is okay too. Uh I take constrict. We can give her some attacks, which is fine. Uh skill book for Selena, let's see what she gets. This might sting again, huh? Combustion. I think I just give her a second power of a full moon. Let's see how it goes. This looks like a pretty promising run, not gonna lie. But we still have to go for, uh, get through more stuff. Anyway, uh, our goals for this stage, as always, the first goal is to get more mana. 
That's our prime goal every time. Maybe get some equipment for us. Which doesn't look good right now. And, uh, survive would be a great goal. Ooh, a free key. That's good. Is that a forge? That is indeed a forge. Uh, I want to see what this brings me first. So we go in here. Do you like whips? <laughs> Alright, Solar Storm here would be interesting. That's one, two, three, four more hits. Oh wait, it counts overload? That's busted! I didn't know it counts overload. Alright, we start with 6 mana. Healing stars grants us the buff if we use 2. Alright. Ouch, that was my arm. It's only old one more, one more turn, so whatever. And, uh... Actually, I don't need any of those. The Ferris Mage is, an, uh, is annoying, for sure. And she's dead. This hurts. Okay, they all resist uh, CC now. Uh. Wow. Okay. We don't get a heal, son of all, but that's fair. That's fine. Point by my. Right, Amulet of Anger is pretty good. But everyone wants uh, aggro, which in this case would be Leon, but Leon already has Rusty Hammer and Token of Protection. Actually, let's give pro Token of Protection to her. Ooh, crit chance plus five. Good, 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 good. Oh yeah, let's identify our two big potions. Healing Increase Potion. Hello, Huzz. Holy Healing Potion. Weakening potion. Okay, this is garbage. Actually, no, it is not. We can use it on enemies. Okay. Honestly, one thing I would like to do is if we had two purple stuffs. I would like to forge two purples into one uh, legendary. We can make it so though. We, we can make it. Doesn't matter if we restrain here. Uh, let's, let's do a solar storm combo. Which means Solar Bolt, or of a Full Moon, Solar Storm. Oh no, we can actually go for four now. But I think because we left, we get Solar Storm. Yeah. We can go really big now. Why did you dodge? 96% hit rate, by the way.
Okay. So, this is a difficult spot we're in right now. We lose a lot of health here, which is really bad, but... We might be able to deal with this. Okay, more mana. I want to level up Haz. So this is actually a pretty good skill. Because it also has deck manipulation, and deck manipulation is the way this deck uh, this works. Uh, draw. So I want to abuse a forge right now. Uh, Ooh, when the entire character ignores taunt, it will be cool. Okay, there's no real reason to keep this. Hmm. All right. No, I am happy with what I've got. I am actually happy with what I've got. Uh, that's pretty cool. I do need to heal Lian though. Okay. That retribution now, which is good, but this will probably not attack. Uh All right. Uh we do saw storm last. So powerful moon solar bolt. Do we have another big skill? Oh really? Flame arrow uh solar storm. Then we we draw once. And we rain hell upon our enemies. <laughs> oh, what? It heals zero even? Oh, Sad. Oh man, that solar storm was the epitome of big. <laughs> Alright, just give me another full turn, I guess. Uh, I will try to get from... If there's one more fight here, I would go for that, but there's not. Uh, such. I don't have an ID scroll here. All right. Wait. There's a skill books to the med shop. Always buy the skill books. Uh, has. Not what I wanted. Uh, relentless swipe bow is pretty good. Actually, Karen stick is what I need here.
Yeah. He doesn't have that many heal skills right now. And current stick is a pretty good heal skill. I even fixed this because this is so good. And then with swiftness scroll, so we're not uh, so we're not slow as heck. He'll lean to fall with our remaining two bread. And all for the best! Let's go! Oh no, it's a bomber clone. Have I ever fought with a bomber clone on all? Hmm. We have to use Construct here anyway. We can do a big combo again. And this time it will be massive. Okay, uh, three, four, three, solar storm. I don't need starbies right now. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to chill out a little. I bet this will just, uh, he will just create a balloon and I will be sad. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it still deals a lot of damage. You don't have one cost in Anvil. Ouch. Okay. Can we win in this turn? Maybe. Big, big, big. Don't explode. Thanks. Does this kill? It does. Oh, she resisted. Okay. I kill here. <laughs> okay, all I'm doing right now is make sure that we live. Definitely heal her. Okay.
Now we can die. Alright. Looking good. And we get another legendary equipment. Big, big, big. Uh. Alright. So first off, since we can just recharge it anyway. We use this. Bomber Clown is basically my least liked uh, enemy. So the cross bridge can go here and you, two, you use this. Anything else I need to know? Hmm. Yeah, more mana. Alright, we can recharge this. Can get another skill. Another solar bolt would be great. But I also need one healing skill on the house. Hmm. Eclipse is good. Restraint healing. Overheal 13. Hmm. This, funnily enough, is good uh, uh, to use on Leon. But at the same time, I'd probably use Eclipse here. So yeah, every character can only have one rare skill. Since we already have the best rare skill on Leon and the best rare skill on Helia, they cannot get another rare skill. <laughs> so let's look at our decks right now. We have... One flame arrow, two combustion. I think I want to reduce that by one. I don't need two combustion. One flame arrow, one prominence, one solar bolt, one solar storm, and one combustion on Helia with a fixed skill of regular attack because haha <laughs> cannot be fixed, go bear. Some prominence, but I don't want to fix prominence. As for her, we have a lot of skulls, but none of them are super good. We've got one blessing of the moon, which honestly I would drop at this point. Now uh, we've got one star breeze, two power full moon, one healing stars, which is a big heal, one healing fountain, which is small heals, and one eclipse. Can actually fix the healing fountain and go for five skills in hand. Leon has the least amount of skills. She has preparation as fixed, she has retribution, repose, smite, and stunning smite, and still one basic attack. And you can already forget this. Uh, Hose has two Whip of Love, which is good. One Give and Take, one This Might Sting, one Constrict, and at fixed ability she has Carrot and Stick. So, I kind of want Whip of Healing on Hose. That would be great. I kind of want Relics, actually. I don't have a single Relic. That's weird. But, but, but such is life. Life is weird. No Relic Gaming here. All right. So it so it does look like in this scenario I have to level up uh Leon for sure. Or we just get a really good skill book here. Another prep. Really good. Let's fight. Ooh, the Deathbringer is a difficult enemy. Hmm. I can go big here. I can go big here. Alright. I'm missing Solar Bolt though, which is Satch, but Powerful Full Moon. Powerful Full Moon. Retribution. Uh, where for Soul Storm? Where for Soul Storm? That is eight props. He gets to do something, but that's okay. 
They just take some damage, but... On the contrary, he dies. <laughs> yeah, uh... That's what we call... Death. We can buy a key here. It's hard to even do. It just grants healing gauge protection. I don't need that. Hmm. Heal, uh, pain success rate is pretty good. <coughs> Let's get down here. I have two breads, but honestly I've been eating so much bread this run, I'm not sure I want to do that. Celestial Alignment for not max damage, sadly. Thunderbolt or Full Moon uh, Retribution and then Soul Storm. What do I withdraw here? This. Tell me this isn't funny. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, people just regenerate, that's okay. Another small snow hedgehog. <coughs> These fuckers are, are, uh, are pretty fast, so... Yeah. Stunned. Ooh, he resisted that. Not nice. So die. <laughs> yeah, we can get one more mana here, which is the max mana we can get. Let's see what else. This is Enchanting Station. Let's enchant this. Debuff resist power, I take it. Uh. Okay, that's busted. Armor penetration on top of what it already does. Yeah. Uh, big. Unfortunately, I only have one key. That's kind of sad. I could always just go for a random solar storm. That's seven procs. Die? Yeah. They can unfortunately not stop being this fast. Uh, yeah, so. This should help. They still dodge. In that case. didn't hit so it doesn't do anything. Oh that's good. Woo! 
So what's here? I don't like this. Very bad equipped to get at the end of a game. Hmm. And it was solar bolt, more damage. What's here again? Oh yeah, that one. Gotta give you the bread bow, such. There's one more fight here. It's this one, okay. And we can Celestial Alignment this. Uh, Solar Bolt. Solar Bolt. Uh, full Moon on Solar Storm. Then we draw one card. Oh, we got a chip. <laughs> we fully killed one of the giant snowmen. If that isn't big, I don't know what is. That was a massive turn. Okay, this needs to deal. Oh, this needs to take damage. Or we'll just die. That works, uh, that works too. Uh, okay, possibilities. Reorganize. Reorganize is also a, w a way to recast skills faster. Alright. This is the way fights can go. Faster, I think. The only real problem I have is that we don't have Web of Healing on us. We still don't have Web of Healing on us. No key, what does this do? This is probably an Amida scroll. Yup. Good thing I didn't use it on something good. I can identify our potions. Right, yeah, I don't need anything from here. Healing potions, great. Low. Uh, energy drink, that's not so nice. But whatever, we heal here. So, boss number 5, and we are in an actually pretty decent spot, especially with a big Helia combo. Yeah. Let's do it. Sacred Karela. Well, it's okay because we are not focusing on dealing damage right now. Solar Bolt, Solar Bolt, Full Moon, Solar Storm. That's what I thought. That was massive. Uh, Cause she doesn't need to get healed.
So we already did half of her life. That was critical healing. Yo, what was that? Yeah, I was concentrating a lot of this fight. Sorry for that. Oh yeah, we we never did it with those two. The Sunshot Relic. During battle, the topmost gun in your hand gains 10% bonus damage and healing. If both Sun and Moon Shots are active, both top and bottom most skills gain 100% crit chance. I suppose this is just a bottom most skill. Yeah, that's based. Nice. That was, that was a cool fight. All right. Damn it. Uh, go play to Luna Ring. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are obviously not at full health. And this is obviously going to be a problem at some point. But we are in a very extremely good space damage wise. We deal so much damage. It's ridiculous. Hmm. This too. Yep. That was a free heal. Alright, we want this. Oh, that's an easy fight. Oh no, not you. Alright.
Yeah, that's decent. You didn't get the healing, that's sad, but... So the other thing what this does is, I think... And it's just replacing a skill with another one, but we want the vault all the time. Because this is the only way we can, uh... We can take over, uh, we can... Yeah, take over, uh, stuff from other runs, so... Of course, we're gonna take over a legendary thing. Now, of course, both of these are dead. Okay, this is a very annoying fight coming up here. Uh, let's hope we can do it. Oh, we can. Okay. What? You he survived? I call bullshit. Uh, eclipse, flame arrows, soul bolt. Yeah, this was just dumb. Dies. And he dies. And another one. And you should die too. Yeah. So damage wise we really don't have any problems here. Damage wise we are so set. Uh, let's just get another draw skill. Hasty counter. So we can buy stuff here but we usually don't have money for it. Oh this would be so good. Two bread spell. Can still identify items here. We don't need our money at this point anyway. Hmm. Eve plus five, nice. So basically we have big accuracy and that translates into more crit chance. We got a lot of good stuff going on here. Mm, we want the cage. Oh, those enemies are easy. In that case, we can actually do this rubber easy.
this is quite a problem. Oh god. Uh... And we should kill. Yep. More gold. So this will be this is a bird cage and this just lets us get a Lucy skill. But we don't have any relics. We do need relics. Every four feelings skill a single enemy is target a single enemy targeted skill will strike all enemies instead, or Whenever you cast a skill, its count on is decreased by one if applicable. Both of these are not really good. Let let's stop let's say that from a start. Both of these are not really good. But this one is better. The count on reducing thing would be great if we wouldn't play Leon. But we do play Leon. Alright. This will be interesting. Uh, we give that to you. Actually, we give that to you. Sadly, fixing skills is not part of our routine here. <laughs> cannot fix Solar Storm, we cannot fix uh, uh, Flame Arrow. We have a lot of skills on our hands. This should be possible. Since we don't have anything better to give, we grant her a bit more of eight. NCC resist, which is good. Alright, this team, I wouldn't have thought, even on normal, that I would manage to get Helia and Selena to the final boss, but hey, here we are, being proven wrong. I am a little bit scared, mainly because Selena almost has no health, but... Let's try this out. Right, it's done. Yep. Both are bad options, but we can play through this. Uh Great job, great job. And turn. I think it does not come back every turn. Nice. In that case, this is fine. Uh, in that case, everything is Gucci.
that she may move again. This is a lot of damage. And she's dead. She survived. Okay, that's good. not die. Oh no, she did she takes the damage for her. We don't have any big. Uh, we don't have a lot of big skills here. I think we lose here. Yep. That there's a really easy to explain reason why we lose here. No whip of healing. We don't have AoE heals that are good. And that really bit us in the ass. Yeah. So, again we lose to the final boss. This time even on normal. We have one relic, which is really, really, really bad. And we miss a mass healing skill. Our setup, apart from, from what we, we rolled on Huzz, our setup was incredibly good. So I'm not even mad. Anyway, this run's over. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys have a great day. I certainly will strive to have one. <laughs> and yeah. See you guys in the next episode of Chrono Arc or Library of Runa, whatever you prefer to watch. Until then, bye bye.